All right, guys, today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, gonna wrap up the season of ice fishing and I'm gonna smoke some tulies at the same time. And I will, uh, as I slowly do my tulipy recipe, I'll show you how that goes. I'm gonna answer a few questions as I go. Uh, question one, uh, did you get any new uh, personal best catches this year? And I did. I got my biggest northern pike so far. Unfortunately, it's only 10 and 3 quarters pounds. Uh, still searching for my really big northern pike. So that's one that I would like to, uh, my lifetime goal is to break a 20 pounder. So let's go get started with the uh, setup for my tulipy smoking here and get this underway. And of course, I'm in, in between blizzards in North Dakota as we're wrapping up ice fishing season. So I'm trying to find a place for my smoker out of the wind. And I will show you, I've been brining tulipies for now two days as I've been trying to get out of the wind and it's not happening. And I got my propane smoker this time. I got, I'll put three racks on for these. Uh, I got a bowl of water and in the bottom I have apple chips soaked in water. I'm not a big mesquite or hickory fan, especially when it comes to fish, as it gives it a little bit too much flavor. So while I got some downtime, as I gotta set these flays out and let them kind of dry off, I'll probably pat them down too. Uh, that'll give me a chance to get uh, a few things lined up and the, the propane started before the smoke really pours to it. So I will check back on this and I'll get some more questions going. All right, got my two of all laid out. You guys are wondering about what brine I use. It's just a simple store-bought mix. I know a lot of them get carried away. You can get, uh, you can put lemon in and whatnot else. If you can really taste a little squeeze of lemon in your brine, your brine smoked fish, uh, this is pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. The basic thing I'd be looking for is salt and some brown sugar to sweeten it up. That's gonna cover your basic soak. Normally I do overnight, uh, fighting the wind like usual. So I done, I brined this for two days, and I wouldn't go past that. Scientific reasons, I don't know. I'm gonna get the fire started, and I'm gonna answer another question. What new species have I caught this year? This year is the first time I went for lake trout. I got my first laker. All right. Which was pretty awesome. Got my first rainbow trout. And as you can tell, uh, tulipies. I'm hoping I got my first tulipie. They're a good fight, aren't they? They are a good fight. You might have a good one then. Okay, there it is. That's a pretty nice, that might be the nicest one of the day. It's gotta be, because it's mine. <laughs> First time I ever tried for tulipies, I always wanted to. Uh, the big surprise there is I can't believe how bad they stink. All right, looks like I just came back out. I got a temperature of about 300. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's gonna be way too warm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dial this down to about 200, 200 quarter, and let that go for a while. Uh, it's just starting to smoke a little bit right now, just due to the high heat. So I gotta taper that back a little bit. Uh, next question, who have I fished with that's new this winter? A couple notables was uh, Parker. He's one of the, uh, Big names on ice fishing North Dakota forums. Admin, he does a lot of a lot of everything on the forums. I'll link the Facebook page of that in the description below. Um, I had a chance early season to fit with, fish with Matt uh, Andy Yak Angler. He does a lot of he's got he's got probably the best smallmouth um, kayak fishing videos out there anywhere. I will link his YouTube channel below as well. Uh, some other guys I've met was a bunch of guys from Wisconsin. John Paul. Dave, Doug, I don't know. I actually have plans to go to Devil's Lake with them next year. Uh, met them up uh, in Devil's Lake at the hotel room. They came out and fished with us. Had a great time on the ice with them. Uh, I've also met Nicole Stone from Nicole Stone Outdoors. I will post her YouTube channel below. Plan on doing some fishing this year with her and her husband. Um, I was gonna go ice fishing with 330 Maniac. He had six kid on tulipies. I'll post his as well. Um, as always, my fishing buddy, John A. John A is always a staple of my channels, usually when we get a chance. Notable as I've met on the ice, and I didn't know it right away, was uh, Jason Mitchell. Fishing is is uh, it's really a passion of mine, and one thing I really like to do is meet new people. And it's amazing the amount of new people and friends I've met through uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, you name it. It's, uh, it's an honor to fish with all these people. All right, right at about 200 degrees, right where I want to be. See some smoke starting to come out. And here's where uh, I'm dumb. I just talked to 330 Maniac on Facebook. He told me Frazy will do this for a buck of fish. Why even do this? Next question, what is my strangest catch in ice fishing season? And that would have to be my crappie on a hot dog. I got, I think I got some uh, kickback on this. A lot of people don't believe this is true. John A will verify. I was pulling up my line at the end of the year. At the end of the day, I'm sorry. Uh, one of my hot dog lines I cut a pike on and there was just a crappie on it. He was hooked under the chin and people say, oh, he looks stiff. I, I really, I'm not trying to make this up. 
Uh, my channel is nothing if it's not authentic. We don't uh, fabricate catches. And really, how do you make up catching a crappie on a hot dog? It just doesn't make sense. All right, guys, we're about at the halfway point, so let's take a peek in here. Oh yeah, those are uh, smoking up nicely. A lot of smoke to go. Let's just go for a while again. Answer one more question here. My most me memorable part about ice fishing that didn't actually involve fishing. Let's see if I can get out of the wind, which I can't. It always shifts, it's swirling around the whole house. Uh, my most memorable part would probably be uh, we were up in Lake Ely, and we were gonna fish a full three days. We came back Saturday night because a uh, snowstorm was moving in, and we decided to get off the lake around 9 p.m. It was roughly, we had about a five hour drive. Started off giant, and John A had some uh, elevator music on, brother-in-law in the back seat, he can't sleep while people drive. And Jeff was like, can you just switch the music up? Well, it became, I drove, uh, John A started becoming our DJ and we would play just random songs and the only rule was it couldn't be a modern song. So we went through some of the classics from, oh, 1960 to the 90s, and we had an absolute blast. Those five hours went by in a flash. We got home like 2.30 in the morning, and we could have drove to California. I mean, we sang, we hung out. Uh, that's what fishing is, good times. So we'll uh, check the tulabies here shortly again and wrap this up. All right, I'm about two, two and a half hours, somewhere around there. Two and, I'd say two and a half hours. Temperatures creeped up just a little bit to about 2.30. We'll give us another shot. Oh yeah, those are looking really good in there. Time for one more question here. My most disappointing catch was also my most exciting one to one to go catch would be lake trout. Uh, my only laker came on a tip up and I'll post a short clip here. I got something, I don't know what I got. Uh, I went to go check my sucker minnow and I didn't realize I had my lake trout even on until pulling it about 20 feet off the bottom. I'm like, okay, there's a fish on here. I wasn't prepared and it just, it was so anticlimactic for catching my first lake trout. Whereas John A's was full of excitement, pure adrenaline. Dude, I'm so I'm freaking out right it's now. It's huge. It's gotta be big. This but you know, I'll, I'll take it. It's fishing. You just don't know what's going to happen. All right, it's been about three and a half, four hours to see how this looks. I would say those are probably done. Well, you gotta save one for, what do you call him, John A? Yeah. Weird to call him John. Do you have a camera with me? And then, uh, we gotta get one for Bob. What's your favorite fish to catch through the ice? Oh, I guess tulipies. Yeah, I didn't even fish for tulipies. Well, was, I'd like to though. Are you going to? Oh yeah. Are you going with us? We, we, yeah. we go. Uh, tulipies are fun. They stink though. So that's <laughs> you touch them, boy, they, they just they stink. My favorite is probably chasing flags for northern. That that would probably be my most favorite thing to do on the ice. Huh, that's good too. We're gonna we're gonna taste test these here in a second and wrap it up. Uh, comment below how you guys did this season and uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, it's been five hours. I flipped these fish a little bit just to get them a little extra dried out. They're still dripping, and it smells fantastic in there. I'm gonna shut this off, bring them inside. I've already taste tested them, and call this a video.